So welcome to this video on um, some revision questions and in particular the first revision question which was the 2017 paper one section A question 6 and we're only going to look at part A of this. So part B at this point can't be completed. It's based on integration which you will probably cover just after Christmas. So we'll revert back to part B at that point. So just looking at part A now, the graph of the function g of x is equal to e to the power of x is shown on the diagram below. On the same diagram, draw a graph of h of x equal to e to the power of minus x, where x is an element of or, so it's in the real numbers, and then they've given us a domain of between 0 and 1. Okay, so... um. We've just been asked here now about an exponential function. So they've given us um, an exponential function and in particular an increasing exponential function. Um, and then they've asked us to do um, h of x, which is e to the power of minus x, which remember, if it is a negative power, we're talking about a decreasing exponential function. So all that they're asking us to do in this case is to draw the function e to the power of minus x. Now, just um, before I get into anything, some of the most common mistakes that I did manage to see um, at this point, and I'll point out more at the end, was that e to the power of x and e to the power of minus x, that they were inverse functions of each other, and they are not. So just to remember, if we want to get the inverse function of e to the power of x, it's actually about logs, and in particular, the natural log. So um, although we do have a method for drawing the inverse function, this is h of x is not the inverse of g of x. So straight away, um, that method will not work. So how we're going to do this is we're going to start off just like we would with any other, and we're going to draw our table. So let's first of all talk about the values of x. So they've told us up here in the question the domain between 0 and 1. So if we look then down at the bottom um, of the diagram we were given, on the x-axis, it's given a number of values. The first value... Um, and I'm just going to go back over the points so you can see it. So the first value of x is 0, then the next was 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 1. So we're going to use the same values, so 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 1. So they're the values of x that we're going to use. Then we're going to substitute that into the function h of x, which is equal to e to the power of minus x. So this will give us e to the power of 0, sorry, e to the power of minus 0, e to the power of minus 0 0.2, e to the power of minus 0 0.4, e to the power of minus 0 0.6, e to the power of minus 0 0.8, and e to the power of minus 1. So that is the function that we're looking at. So when you go and put that into the calculator, so let's draw a line across here, you'll get your value for y to allow us to plot it. So the first value is 1, because minus 0 is the same as 0, and anything to the power of 0 is 1. Now, with regards rounding here, just be careful not to round too much. If we take a look at our y-axis here for a second, we have um, it broken up um, every two boxes here, so there's five of these, so this must be 0 0.2, this must be 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and this is 0 0.8, and then we have one up here, which is marked. So each box on the y-axis represents 0.1. So if we round it to point, or if we round it to one decimal place, we won't have enough information. It, will be, it will, won't be as accurate as it can be. If we go to two decimal places, we'll be able to work somewhere within that box, which will just give us another level of accuracy. Beyond that, we won't be able to plot it. So we're going to stick to two decimal places for this for now. So if you went to one decimal place, you'll have rounded too much and you won't get um, an accurate graph or an accurate curve when we go to draw it. So um, we get 0 0.82 when we put that into the calculator with some rounding, 0 0.67 here, um, 0 0.55, 0 0.44 and 0 0.37. So just to take a look then at our actual points, so the first point is 0 0.1, the next is 0 0.2, 0 0.82, the next one is 0 0.4, 0 0.67. 
here is 0 0.6, 0 0.55, here is 0 0.8, 0 0.44, and we have 1 and 0 0.37. So now what we need to do is we need to plot it. Now, what I will say is, because I'm using um, the computer here and I've tried this already, so this is my second time recording this, uh, but the points didn't come out too great for me. Um, if I did them too small, they were disappearing. So um, I'm going to have to do them quite big. Now, obviously, this diagram is a little bit bigger. I've just shrunk it um, this way just to get it on the slide so we can work with it side by side but while you're doing it do try to make this as accurate as possible so the first point that we have is this one here and you'll notice that it's the same as h of x so it's 0 1 the next is 0 0.2 and 0 0.82 so it's just a little bit above just a little bit above 0.8 so the next one is 0.4 and 0.67 so it's just underneath the 0.7. So then we have 0 0.6 and it goes to 0.55. So halfway between 0.5 and 0.6. Um, then we have 0.8 and 0.44. So again, roughly halfway between 0.4 and 0.5. Trying to get that in there, yeah. And the last one then is 1 and 0.37 so just underneath there okay so that's our graph here now again please bear in mind i am using um i am using the computer so it's a little bit harder for me to do this kind of sketching but what we should have here is a nice curve and you'll notice that it should be kind of going down okay like this so my one is not fantastic. Again, bear in mind, I do know the computer, you have a much nicer graph. While you're doing it, you're doing it in pencil and it'll look a lot better. But um, a lot of people, the questions that I corrected, a lot of people had got to this point and it was fine. Some of the plotting was a bit off. Rounding was an issue. But one of the most common mistakes was forgetting to label this. So because... Um, there is more than one function and even if there is just one function labeling is so important so if you're not labeling you will not get full marks so at this point you need to go on to this and show that this is h of x so that's all the question was asking and i suppose the reason that i gave this to you first um, as the first revision question was really to demonstrate that on when when we first look at a question so on the surface you're looking at a question going oh it's exponentials oh my god i have so much to do oh i can't remember anything about exponentials but really all they're asking is a very basic plot the function graph very very basic and um, you would have been able to do this from the time you've been in third year if not second year so there's very little new here yes there is an e in it but all you're doing is putting that into the calculator so from your point of view there's very little um there's, there's nothing really very tough there yes it has an e in it but we've been looking at e's since the start of last year so that shouldn't throw you so what i would say is get into the habit of really trying to understand what is the question asked stop freaking out just because you see an e in a question and think oh this is going to be really difficult because all that you were asked at this point was to draw a function to draw your graph